What's up, guys? Today I'm just gonna back from the video, and today we've got another Ninjago Seeker to the for Banish Jitsu episode review. Today we've got episode 30, Awakenings, which is the season 11 finale. So, if you guys have not seen the episode yet, I will leave a um, Google Drive link in the description below to where you can find the episode. And yeah, so let's get into the review. So, the episode it continues off from episode 29 once and for all, where Zane he's come to um get Zane back. Um, Lloyd he come to um get Zane back to um get him out of his ice for days. And Akita she's confused about this, so Lloyd tells her that this is who he's been looking for the whole time. And Akita's mad because what Zane did, taking out all the formlings and freezing them, and now she thinks um Katara's dead but she doesn't know that Katara is actually alive so Akita she's trying to fight Zane but Lloyd's trying to block her and what happens is that while they're um getting into an argument um while Lloyd's trying to get her to stop um Zane ends up knocking Lloyd away and so anyways Zane he starts to act um use her, his ice powers on Akita but Zane, Lloyd uses his Majutsu powers to block it and then um gets to um Katara and going back to his side where they're, fi keep, they're still fighting the Blizzard Samurai and anyways they started to get surrounded by Blizzard Samurai and what happens is that um they're, they're, they keep on fighting but what happens is that um they end up pinning down Kataru and to the ground where he can't attack and Grimvax he keeps on fighting but they end up taking Grimvax down also so Vex says to um take Grimvax and Kataru down to the dungeon and lock him up and now we get to um the rest of the ninja team where they just took down Beryl and Nia discovers this um ice dragon is actually Beryl is actually made of ice and made by a master of ice and they discover that the ice snipper is most likely Zane but they know but the weird part is that Zane must be corrupted because of the fact that he would not do this do this thing and Nia realizes that the um scroll for Benjamin Jitsu was in uh Zane's hand whenever he was banished by Asphira. So anyways, they're talking about it, and what happens is that, uh, Brill, he ends up waking up and throwing a land bounty and starts to attack the ninja. So what happens is that Brill, he ends up throwing Kai around, throwing Kai away and ends up knocking him out. So it, Nia goes after Kai while the rest of the team are trying to fight Brill. Cole and Craig, they go up to the land bounty where they, Cole uses his RX powers to um, throw the land bounty at Brill. Brill knocks it away and what happens is that when Nia goes to, um, get, um, he fi she finds Kai uh, unconscious, knocked out. And so she notices that um some ice shards over Brill, and she Nia remembers that what Sorla said to try and um use the, her water powers throughout the ice, and so she tries. And what happens is that she gets the ice uh, the ice shards to fall on Brill, but what happens is that it doesn't Brill breaks through, and what happens is Kai he ends up he wakes up and fight um the ninja team trying to fight for him, and Brill he's about to attack the ninja, so Kai gets it gets Kai mad and he starts to use his. His fire powers start to return and uses his fire powers on Brill and ends up disintegrating Brill, t uh, saving the ninja team. And so now his fire powers are completely back. And so now they're going to go after Lloyd to um, save Lloyd from and help get Zane back. So, anyways, we find um, Lloyd, Lloyd and Zane's fight, Lloyd versus Zane. And anyways, what happens is that um, Zane he keeps chasing Lloyd and Lloyd keeps on trying to dodge attacks from Zane. And so anyways, they keep running around and what happens is that um, Lloyd gets to, um, I mean Zane gets to Lloyd and um, throws it, Lloyd up to, against the stairs and anyways he um, freezes Zane up and, I mean freezes Lloyd up and after that Akita tries to save Lloyd but, um, and tries to attack Zane but Zane ends up freezing um, Akita whole. So now Akita is frozen and Lloyd he's pinned down on the ground by Zane and Vex comes in and tells uh, Zane to finish the job and kill, to kill Lloyd. And so Zane he starts to he doesn't want to do it. So what happens is that Vex he gets a spear from one of Blizzard Samurai and he's about to kill Lloyd. But what happens is that he's he says that he couldn't even protect himself and he couldn't defeat the Ice Emperor. And Zane remembers um he started he remembers the phrase that he was meant to know um protect those who can't who cannot protect themselves and starts to remember all his memories. Now all his memories have returned and ends up snapping out of it. And he throws a Vex um gets Vex to stop doing it. He throws a Vex hits a Vex after um scepter and he ends up destroying the scepter, which was the second scroll for Ben's Jitsu. And so anyways, there's a whole blast and what happens is that everything goes back to normal. The Neverum goes back to normal. It's not that the um the cold is not really that harsh no more. Um the the castle is now back to normal and Everyone who is frozen by Zane are no longer frozen. So Zane helps Lloyd get back up, and Vex tries to attack Lloyd and Zane, but Zane ends up freezing um Vex. And now, anyways, Grim, I mean not Grim Vex, but what who was it? Kataru, uh, Kataru and the rest of the Ninja Team they come in, and now Akita and Kataru are back together, um reunited, and the Ninja Team are reunited. So anyways. Um, we see, um, Grimbax now has gotten his throne back due to, um, Vex being gone, being, um, no longer in control of Zane. And anyways, uh, we see Akita and Kitaru, uh, where two of Grimbax's soldiers, they end up banishing Vex where he can't, um, he's no longer around, allowed to go around those territories. And then we get back to the, um, the ice village where, um, the ninja are about to go home, but they end up encountering a problem where they can't, the traveler's tea leaves will not allow, help them get back. Cole says that he'll go back and get more tea leaves, but... 
due to the amount, no matter the amount of tea leaves, they're still not going to be able to go back because the power of the tea leaves are not um, able to get the nature team back. But anyways, Cole remembers about the berry that Craig gave him um, whenever he, um, they first met. And anyways, Cole gives the berry to um, Sora, and it's able to get them back home. So anyways, we see Master Wu, who's looking at a picture of the ninja team, who is upset that the nin they are not allowed, they're not able to get the ninja back. All of a sudden, Pixel comes in and tells him something's happening. So he tells him, to, she tells him to come out into the front. And what happens is that the portal opens with the ninja return home, and Zane comes out, and Master Wu is really happy to see him, that he's back, and he's okay. Pixel comes and hugs him, and anyways, we get back to the Never Realm where Cole, and Cole's telling his final goodbyes to Craig, and he lets Craig uh, hug him and crush his um, bones, but anyways, so after now that Cole and Craig have um, said their goodbyes, Cole goes home, and we, we get to Lloyd's final goodbyes to Akita, where Akita ends up kissing Lloyd, and anyways, the portal's about to close, and so... Um, Lloyd tells Akita to take care, and Lloyd gets into the portal. So now, since um, Lloyd is no longer in the Neverrealm, Akita is a little bit sad that Lloyd and his, her adventures with Lloyd are over. But Kataru, they go out and they run around like they always used to do. And Akita, I mean, Akita says that um, starts to narrate, saying Kataru says that they'll probably she'll probably not be able to see Lloyd again. And but she says that Never is a very long time, and then she howls, and that ends off the episode. So. Awakenings was a really good episode. I did enjoy this episode, and season eleven, Secrets of the Forbidden Future Two, was an amazing season. Though it was not, it's not my favorite, but it did have some flaws. But I'll get into those flaws later in this, um, in the overall season review. And yeah, so Awakenings was a great episode. It was my favorite episode of the season, and possibly my favorite episode of the series overall. And anyways, if you, I will so expect soon expect the overall Dodge chapter review and the overall season eleven review. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this review, please have a like, please subscribe, please follow me on social media, links will be in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video, see you guys later.